Often your clients or stakeholders will ask you to create content that will help them rank for the proposed keywords you suggested they focus on. So let's first go over how to figure out even what type of content that you should be creating. Then we'll dive into how to take keyword research and optimize each page with the most popular tools you use to craft your copy. Previously, we did keyword research for strep throat symptoms, and we can click onto Healthline's page and see what makes them tick. But I like to first actually start with going back to Google SERP and seeing what the SERP looks like and checking out a bunch of pages there and seeing what their title tags look like to help them stand out from the SERPs. And so let's start with that. I'll start by Googling strep throat symptoms. You see there's a knowledge panel here. Then there's these FAQs uh, markup. So if we marked up our page appropriately, we could our URL could show up here and steal some clicks away from the two, three, and four result. Now you can see the title tags and the meta description. Do you even see these little anchors that each of these pages have? These are anchors on the same page as you can see. Um, and they all get shown in the SERPs here and that's great. So keep that in mind when creating our page, maybe we wanna have anchors down the page. But also you can look at the title tag, strep throat symptoms, eight signs you have strep versus the other title tags here, which symptoms and causes, symptoms, pictures, diagnosis, treatment. This is a question. This is pretty straightforward. So maybe we create a blog post and it can show up here. Or if, if we're going to create a standard symptoms, causes, and diagnosis page, we want to create a better title than the rest of them because this might help us with click-through rate. And so I have a tool that helps you come up with a catchy title and shows you how it's going to look in Google. And let's go to that tool. So all you have to type in is actually... CTR SEO mofos and it should come up. Yep. And this will emulate what your title will look like on Google so you can see if it's appropriate. So let's try uh, strep throat symptoms. see 30 FAQs answered by expert PhDs still not being cut off great um, doctors okay so it'll show you where it cuts off and so how does this look compared to our competitors maybe it's better maybe it's worth in terms of keyword optimization it might be better slightly worse but Part of the goal is to get people to click through from Google to your website and title tag optimization and your meta description are really important for that goal. And so that's the next step of the content audit, trying to figure out what kind of content to create and what kind of title tags you should include for that content so you stand out. Next, I'll show you how to do a qualitative audit using a great tool.